also real quick um, with these uh, Travis SB dunks um, from having them in hand I will say they are they, they feel and look of quality so if you are into wanting to purchase a replica say um, you, you can't really tell like until you grab them put them in hand and whatnot um, they, they're they're really good at what they are doing over here with these um, variants, fakes, uh, replicas, whatever you want to call them, unauthorized. Um, and, uh, you know, I hear people saying that um, they'll, they'll wear like reps and keep the, the reels in their collection dead stock. And uh, I don't know what they're doing with the pairs afterwards, but, you know, um, at least you know they're not trying to put them back into circulation to try to get somebody you know but um you just never know who gets their hands on to unhappen to somebody and then they think they're real think all the sneakers they have are real and then you know put it on somebody and then they think that they're real they got them from somebody that they thought was legit and then they were they had some that were fake in the collection so and but they wore them so i don't know just um uh it's real tricky with these um replicas man you know uh, and then I'm hearing pe people that um, are showing up that they got a lot of money by fakes and um, but they're still driving some expensive cars celebrities do it they don't drop um, ten twenty thousand dollars on certain sneakers that are going for that much but buy a replica and just wear it and because you think that they got it um, they can pull it off unless you get them in hand and look at them and be like oh take them all let me see let me see them things or let me get a, a close look at them you're not going to be able to tell so um yeah um very interesting uh having these in hand and checking them out and um yeah but yeah youtube uh i don't want to hold you anymore but um yeah these uh these reps are really good and if you're not wanting to pay um basically 10 times over and the longer it is, sometimes you could be paying 20, 30 times over a certain sneaker. And if you just want to wear it because you like that sneaker. And it shouldn't be that hard to um, get the sneaker and they should re-release it. But they try to make some some things a little bit special. I get it. We all know about all that. But not everybody can afford that. And um, at the end of the day, people just want to wear it. They don't want to go broke wearing it. So, but, um, so I understand all that. But... I'm not gonna try it and tell you, you know, you gotta go get these. Um, but I will respect that you got them and you know, you just don't try to sell them to somebody like they are real, you know. Um, but yeah, YouTube, hope this video has helped you. It's just uh, educational purposes only, you know. Um, years ago, I was asked, um, more than likely you've been asked by some kind of uh, rep company to review uh, replicas, um, say about 10, nine to ten years ago or so I was asked to um, to review uh, replicas or whatever and I just you know so um, but um, I did want to like talk about it and be like man th these are these are good you know um, and it's just like it's crazy you know it's scary how good they are but if you um, get them in hand and you know what to look for um, you, you know you're not gonna get got um, it's I don't know about how uh, they go about certain pairs getting by I, I would like to know what pairs they got and how they got those by but again if you're doing that you're basically you know um, not gonna give up that information you know people are gonna try to keep milking it and keep it guarded don't talk about how good these are and just like really pass them through and um, it will be beat you know so but um yeah, I don't know if um, it, it gets me thinking. It says that since um, this one has a stamp on the one shoe and the other one doesn't, and say you get a sneaker or two reps from two different companies and they they stamp them on different shoes and then you put them together and you get one good one, but the sneakers are not the same. So I don't I don't know. It just got me thinking like um, or if they if you order two and then there's another pair and then they're stamped on different shoes. You could actually get a pair and then you know see if it goes through but more than likely you know um if you feel it um at, at these uh 
consignment shops and um, you know the, the resale websites you know which ones and they're trying to authenticate them eBay um, it doesn't take much especially the smell once you smell them it, it's 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 over you just got to open it up you get that whiff you just take them out and it just it's got this smell there you know how legit pairs smell like you bought many of them and you smell these it's over it's, it's a dead giveaway you know these are fake um, the tags have gotten good um, this box is too everything so but if you want to know and feel them it's uh it's there. there there's little little things to like let you know um if these are real or fake so you know at least that is still there because um sometimes the video they won't say oh you know if you can feel that film that's on the upper you know i don't know if you're wearing gloves at at say uh stock x or go i don't know how they're checking them you're I don't know if you'll be able to feel that. You know, you gotta feel the sneaker. You gotta feel what's on there. I don't know what they sprayed on there. And um, yeah, it makes me wanna wash my hands. It's like, oof, what is that? What's on there? Like, so, um, yeah, YouTube. I know it's an extension to um, how I was talking about the sneaker, but you know, I just wanted to um, get that out there for anybody wondering what's going on. Uh, is Logan gonna be reviewing reps now no this is just more of like you know just uh wanted to still do a video about it but um not really promote it per se you know so uh, again just educational purposes only um i would have liked to have a real and these fakes to review compare um but i don't and i'm not gonna go pay that big money or ask a consignment shop that will let me borrow them like i don't know how i go about that you know what i'm saying um it's just best to you know basically go and buy them and um and you gotta sell them off you gotta take the hit it's a sacrifice as far as you want to do these real versus fake um but i'm not doing all that it's good enough to to finally see a pair and see how they're doing them uh, other than watching a video so, but yeah, YouTube, um, it's your boy Logan J. Signing out. Peace.